the honor to live up to the blessings that have been given us by living that life that shows you are dedicated spiritually, you're serious on the spiritual path, and that you won't follow the worldly ways in life. That you will be concentrated and consecrated in your sadhana, in your spiritual duties, in your devotional service, in your karma yoga, in your meditations, your prayers, you'll be serious, you'll be focused. As ashram, we want to be exemplars of those who follow the teachings of the Lord. We don't want to just profess. I want to see the ashram practice. Practice what it professes to believe in. Baba has always taught that that's the path to follow. Live the spiritual life sincerely, earnestly from the heart, and you will have to succeed in spiritual life. What can stand against you? What can what can become an obstacle to you and spiritual progress? if you proceed with sincerity. If you undertake your sadhana earnestly and regulatively, there's nothing that can stop your progress. There may be threats to it, there may be maya presenting itself to divert your attention. But diverting attention doesn't mean taking you away someplace. If anyone is going somewhere, it's because you decided to go. If maya it doesn't mean that Maya is captivating unless you allow it. You allow yourself. It just basically shows the This is why Baba made it very clear. If you don't follow the path of Sadhana, you don't build a strength that allows you to be able to face every obstacle of the illusion. How will you be strong? How will you be able to conduct yourself throughout any test or trial of life if you haven't developed the strength through So it's something that must be.